Hi Pisces friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe and healthy. So Pisces, this is going to cover the next two weeks, April 13th to the 26th, 2020. And if it doesn't resonate for you Pisces, please watch your other signs. I am using the pre raffaella Tarot deck. Beautiful deck. Pisces, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Sun. Pisces, I gotta say, your cards feel absolutely perfect. cards are very, very slippery, but they're great. Pisces, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me for Facebook Live on Instagram, Facebook, links to everything that you guys need right below the video in the description box. Seven of Cups. Six of Wands. Beautiful. Ace of Wands. King of Wands. Whoops. He was in the upright. Three of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Page of Cups. Overall energy. Interesting. This card. I've used three different decks. I've switched it up and death card, Scorpio is important. Literally, I, I just did Libra, Gemini. I'm pretty sure it actually came out for Scorpio. Nine of Wands. It's been out a lot too. But, you know, this is definitely, you know, not backing down, not giving up. Definitely waiting for something for a long time. All right, the Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Six of Cups. So, the Page of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and the Six of Cups. Definitely, Pisces, someone is not giving up. They're not backing down. You know, the Nine of Swords, you know, with this Six of Cups, could be for some of you, okay, like 
because this is past energy, okay? So let's let's say six weeks ago, like two to six weeks ago, you heard from someone from the past. With the Page of Pentacles, I do feel like it was kind of, you know, on a friendly level, just simple, easy, lighthearted communication. But for some of you, you're not having it. You could have blocked this person, you know, out. And if that's the case... I strongly feel like somebody needs to know why they they need closure. You know, the Nine of Swords you know especially in this deck you know, that's a whole lot of worrying Like someone is regretting, they're stressing about it, worrying. Listen, if there is some kind of goal that you're trying to reach here, reach here, uh, Pisces, just keep hanging in there. Stay strong. You're going to come through this. Because this is something that you have definitely, definitely been waiting on for a long time, years even. And you do have communication coming in. You have change coming in. Like now is the time for things to start happening and moving moving forward. Where in the past, you know, you've been waiting on something or someone. Probably the timing wasn't right, but now it is. Scorpio. Endings, new beginnings. But, you know, listen, with this being your overall energy and this Nine of Wands being at the bottom of the deck, this ending, new beginning, transformation is something that you've been waiting on for a very, very, very long time. For some of you, it definitely could even be financial for you. You know, the, the Seven of Cups, definitely a confusing energy scattered definitely some of you could be feeling really emotional especially the first week some of you definitely I feel like in this deck you know, you have your eye on the prize, right? Reversed, I would probably say in this deck, you're missing it. It's so, it's almost like you're dreaming and fantasizing about the big one. Whether it's, and you could even be fantasizing about this. But I just don't feel like, you know, you're scattered or confused. I mean, maybe some of you. There's definitely option, an option here for you as far as getting a new job. And if you're making a big decision here, I feel like, you know, this is work, career, finances. Some of you are trying to find a new job or trying to get like a raise, promotion. Some of you, I absolutely feel like you're not happy at the job you're at right now. Like the work that you're doing. Because there's definitely a lack. And interestingly enough, it's sitting right next to the Three of Pentacles. So, 
Some of you definitely could be looking at ending a partnership. You know, as far as working with a group, you definitely could be quitting your job for a new one. Definitely something to do with people that you work with. It's either you feel underpaid, overworked, or you feel like you're not needed or that you're not included. Maybe you want to work on your own, Pisces. You could literally be blocking these people out. I mean, you, you definitely, you could be blocking these people out or vice versa. And if that's the case with the Seven of Cups energy, you know, if you're someone that's feeling like excluded, especially if this is work, I don't think you're seeing things clearly. Where things are just not be the case. I think whatever you're thinking this is going to be is going to be totally different than what you think. Just keep that in mind. I hope that made sense. Listen. Pisces, it's the bottom line. There's definitely it's it's time for big changes. If it's work, some of you are definitely getting a new job or getting promoted. Could even be at the the company that you're working for right now. Pisces, I feel like you are very, very close to a change and you're very close to this Six of Wands, victory, success, recognition. You know, with the Three of Pentacles, definitely. You could absolutely be being looked at For, for like a, this raise, a promotion, like success that that that's meant that is really really meant to be with the wheel of fortune. I mean, this is definitely things turning in your favor, karma, destiny, things happening the way they're meant to happen. So whatever this this five of pentacles was. Three of Pentacles, whatever this lack was, or even feeling with the Five of Pentacles, things are definitely changing. Death, the Wheel of Fortune, that's a that's there's that's an ending coming soon, and so is an exciting new beginning. Ace of Wands, you know, this is an exciting, passionate new beginning, Pisces. It's starting. Down an exciting new adventure. That that's really really excited for some of you. I I do feel like it is work, but you do have this King of Wands that's here. Aries, Leo, Sag. So especially you male Pisces. You could have Aries, Leo, um, Sagittarius in your chart. You know those of you. That this is, you know, could be love. There definitely could be an exciting, passionate new relationship with this fire sign. Or this is your partner, spouse. You know, maybe something happened, you know, where they just 
closed you out, you closed them out. You know, we do that sometimes, especially now. I mean, everybody's under one roof. But just something could have happened in the past. Someone was defensive. Looks like, the, you know, they definitely put walls up around them. There is an opportunity here to, to, to re-spark, you know, that passion with the Ace of Wands. And it's, it's like you're almost thinking about it. Or he is. So you could you could definitely be making up with this fire sign male reaching out reaching out to someone or someone's reaching out to you if if something did if any bullshit did happen Pisces there's definitely an apology coming with the page of cups it's sincere it's honest if you're the one that's doing it Because it could be any water sign here. Okay. If you're the one that's doing it, you're taking a chance. If you're reaching out to someone, you're, I mean, you're either bringing about a Scorpio, a fire sign male, or simply just change with the death and the wheel of fortune. And it is by you taking a chance, telling someone how you feel. I, I just feel like you're not as defensive and closed off, or they're not. They're definitely letting their walls down. Like, this ending is absolutely opening up, like, amazingly for this exciting, new, passionate, new beginning. So for some of you, this definitely could be love. But then for others of you, it could be something business related. Getting a new job, raise, promotion. Definitely good news coming in. It really does, Pisces, look like an exciting two weeks for you. It really does. All right, I'm going to grab you guys Magical Times Empowerment Cards. Beautiful deck. And I haven't used them in a while. Pisces. This is very sun, moon, rising, sun, moon, 13, 86. Unbelievable. This card has been out a lot too. At, at least four times. I think I have two more after you. Yes. Sagittarius and Aquarius. But change. You are transforming. Let go of the past. Embrace the light and the joy of this new day. You know, again, you know, someone definitely could have put up some walls. I know, blockages around them that you needed to pass through, you know, past, get past. But it is in the past. You're putting it in the past. Good news is coming in. Big changes are coming in. You know, some of you definitely might need to take a risk. And I just feel like this blessing is this wheel of fortune because it's good luck, Pisces. It's things finally turning in your favor. And look at this shit. I almost missed it. You have two wheels here. Literally. Things are absolutely changing for you. With the fire sign male. The 
if you're making a decision between two people, a Scorpio or, or a fire sign, I, I, I say go for it with the fire sign. Because everything screams new beginnings. And this ending was meant to happen. And I love how you go from the 9 to the 10. I mean, it's something that you have waited on for a very, very, very long time. It's finally here for you now. Great reading, Pisces. Absolutely love you guys. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys back here soon. Take care, guys.